But you know, you know, let me tell you, man. There's, there's a, I hope the management uh, are, are, cause all our Ghanaian boxers, man. Cause you know, remember when Richard uh, Larte uh, went and fought in the UK? He fought uh, Daniel Dubois in the UK, and he yeah. didn't, he didn't, he didn't get his visa until like late. And then he showed up the fight like the day before the fight. He showed up in the UK the day before. So yeah, we, 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 our team, we, we, our Ghanaians, we have to fix that. The management has to fix that, man. I think it's the management. That needs to fix that, man, because it doesn't it's not fair to you guys, man, that you guys don't have time to prepare, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, I don't know. And for me, I don't think it's, it's the uh, the management uh, problem. I think it's for the promote is the promoters who has been doing that tricks. Because, uh, uh, oh. Yeah, I think it's the promoter, promoters who has been doing that tricks because. You, you cannot just give a fighter a visa for just two days to come and fight. It's it's wrong. We don't do we don't do boxing like that. You know boxing oh. is a risk it's a risk job. So if you want it to be real, just do it real because you see what they do to Richard uh, Harrison. It's yeah. like the, look at the day that the visa came and look at the day he, re, he, he, he like he reached and look mm. at the day. If, for a fault, it, 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 it is unfair, you know. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and it's not good, it's not good. That is, I think, we Africans that's what they want to do to us. You see, yeah. if you are not, if you are not staying in Europe, like being uh, like being a coach, uh, like a great coach, corner or like a good camp, that people uh -huh. will be seeing you there and you know, they will be knowing you more. If you like, just uh, wake up, go straight to, to to fight. I think you will lose because that is what I'm seeing. If you don't go and knock the opponent, you can. And the runs got finished, you won't win. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's what I have been seeing, and this is happening to a lot of uh, with the boxers here, and it's not good, you know. Yeah. yeah so. Me, for me, my management, I'm okay with them because I think they can do their thing. But, you know, they, like I said, they need some, they need more uh, educating from outside because you can't be African, you can't be in here without uh, knowing what is going on outside. Mm, yeah. You're supposed to, yeah. You're supposed to get someone outside and, and, and maybe if an agent will be, be telling you do this do that to, to your fighter or let the fighter come here and stay train 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 and, and let's give him this fight to, to see whether he can he can pass through or you know you can be in ghana how many boxers have you seen staying in ghana here are all our world champions they did mm. not stay in ghana here before uh coming world champion they all uh, came to euro and stay, train, train, train before they, 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 they become world champions. You know, so you can't stay here and be training and just get a fight now. Then maybe uh, look at what happened to me. Just one week, and I yeah. leave. I leave Ghana on Tuesday. Hmm. So in the week, I was in a play. I think almost. Two seven. I reached was I, I was going up and down, up and down, up and down. So then, the, uh, so I think Friday, Friday was weighing. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. I supposed to rest, but you know, even we reached there, did not give uh, as a, a gym that we are going to, to train. So I was asking myself, is this score where I said I'm going to fight? Because what is going on here? I mean, I don't think this is worth it. But it's a planting from the promoter. So, if you like, you don't you don't know anything about this. So, whatever mm -hmm. they say, you have to obey and do it. Then that is yeah, what but, I fall. But that Pat, is Pat, what oh, I, I, the the manager though. The, I think the, your management should have the location set though before too. You know, it's I blame the manager too. Is it like I said? They want yeah. to do the thing. They want to ask for the management. They are ready to do the thing, but but uh, you know they don't have uh, director. Maybe like they should have got someone outside there 
who knows everything and will be helping them whenever there is a fight outside the the the, yeah, the, yeah. the person will go through everything and will be setting every corner that the people will pass he knows it so when you when you come in it will be it will, it will show you don't pass here pass here don't don't go this way go this way do this you, do that you know you know you y'all, y'all had uh the guy i thought uh the guy sean gibbons the remember the 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 white guy that was in your in your corner he's supposed to do that right remember the sean gibbons who the the white guy yeah remember when he that one he was in your corner when he walked out that guy was supposed to be your us he didn't help you. Uh, he was in the in the locker room. The uh, Sean Gibbons. The uh, I thought he was helping I you. Get, yeah. yeah, he just came in. I think on, on that day, on yeah. that day, the fight, and uh-huh. he was called to come and help. So he oh. he came in and charged. He oh. came in and he said, uh, "He will uh, he would like to receive, I think, to to, to uh, two thousand for the." for payment yeah oh so he okay because yeah. he, he's i know who that guy is he, he i think he's uh he's pacquiao's uh manager or something like that he's works with pacquiao so i thought he was i thought he was helping your management like that he didn't do a good job man i thought he was supposed to help your management you know make sure you're okay in the u.s no no it was not helping i i have a friend you see there's a, a short man uh called michael uh-huh Yes, oh. it was the one who came to help, and so he he also called his friend, Baba Musa, the one wearing the uh the shoes. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So uh, okay. I called Michael, and Michael also called his friend, and the the friend also called the guy that you are talking about, and so they came. Oh. In to, last to, minute, to huh? Help. Last minute. It was it was last minute. Yeah. Last, okay. It was, it was last minute. The day, the fight day, okay. they all came in. To, to to help okay you know, it's not it's unfair because for me if it is real world title that i'm going to fight i should even have i shouldn't have gone through this yeah because it's like uh, they were doing the thing like oh this guy there we just bring him we'll beat him now and then and then no nah, yeah but you better you better than that man i know i know that because i know if you it was fair man because i, I mean it, it, it would have been a better fight it, is it they, that's what they do here that's what that's what boxing in the u.s man and and all over the world sometimes it, it's a it's a uh a, a, a bad business man you know they they cheaters man that's how they do it man everybody cheats yeah not everybody but a lot of people cheat man you know <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's not fair it, they, they don't they don't because if it's fair you know those guys, those guys that get beat, man. Like Jaime Munguia, I think he's, I don't, I think he's real. Like he's protected. Golden Boy, they protect him. He, they don't want him to. They, they, they make him fight. Like he cheats. They cheat. I believe they cheat. Me, that's what I think. Oh, yeah. yeah, because yes. when he, you know, he's going to one sixty. He's at one sixty now. Yes, yes, 